There were no serious injuries after a dump truck struck a power pole in Agania this morning. But as PNC's Betsy Brown reports, the accident did create a number of problems. This was the scene by the Agania pool this morning after a dump truck struck a concrete power pole, leaving the pole hanging by its wires. GPD spokesman officer AJ Balahaja says no serious injuries were reported, but the accident did back up traffic in the Agania area for much of the day. The traffic was from up there, they were on the middle lane, yeah, center lane. So it's so hard to make a left turn going to the pool, but. We did it just to ask, uh, ask a favor from those oncoming traffic. That was at 8 this morning, less than a half hour after the accident occurred. But O'Brien Drive was still closed from Route 4 to Route 8 until late in the afternoon. During 1.30, I'm coming here to pick up my grandson, and then the policeman just blocked the, the one over there, uh, the intersection of the Mong Mong there. And then, uh, so... Everybody is turning, going to Agania to make a U-turn to coming here in Agania Shopping Center. Power was out and the road was closed for much of the day today while GPA crews replaced the power pole. Guam Power Authority spokesman Art Perez told PNC that the pool was a major junction point for a transmission service, so a total of 2,063 customers were affected. With the new pool and hardware installed by late this afternoon, Perez expected all power to be restored by news time. According to Balahaja, the driver of the dump truck lost control of his vehicle before striking the pool. He was cited for imprudent driving. As Balahaja says, there is no indication of any other vehicle contributing to the crash. Betsy Brown, PNC News.